Hello everybody, this is a sort of companion video to my Candyman tutorial uploaded a bit ago and it's going to be showcasing you the best ways that you can use your candy ball uh, to just confuse opponents, uh, get kills, or to switch game pressure into, uh, you know, to make more positive for you. Uh, I'm also going to show you a few good starts. Uh, you know, your start really depends on what your opponent's going to let you do. You know, if, if you go up to, like, hit the ball and you bring it over here and they're just chasing you and they just hit it as soon as you hit it, right, with good timing so they don't get parried, you know, you got to kind of let them have that, right? It's their ball now. Uh, but anyway, so let's get into the meat of the video. This is... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do one start and one candy combo, pretty much. All right, that's a good start, and it always ends at 55 speed. You have to start jumping and whatnot to uh, continue that. But that's a start that I like to do whenever someone lets me have ball control. Uh, so now, for the one candy that follows it, you're going to want... Uh, this is like uh, just a good whiff. Right, and you have to do that fake swing at it. A lot of people won't fall for that if you don't fake swing. Uh, I learned that one from uh, Poon Wrangler 420. He's a rank 14 candy man. Uh, he plays super slow and he fakes a lot. Uh, you can set your candy downwards like that if you... Did not know. This is pretty much my absolute favorite candy man. It just looks like you're wrecking everything. Like, I, I, I just, I just love that one. That's my absolute favorite thing to do. And if you do it just like I did there, that can really confuse people. Like, seriously confuse people ending it like that. Oh. So, now for another start. This is the start I will do if someone's giving me ball control, or if I'm against someone that sits back and reads angles. Alright. Let me try that again so I don't look like I'm garbage. And you let it fake out like that, they'll read it. And that's the candy. And this is a start I won't do very much, but I, I do it if I feel like it. Yeah, the, the candy is part of that start there. If you were wondering. Uh, now this, this is a start I have not used in a while, but it was catching people like Daiatsu when I did use it. Uh, so, uh, I, I think it needs to, it needs to be like exactly here. Uh, like I said, I have not done this in a while. This is... That, that, that's pretty embarrassing uh, <laughs> attempt at that start there, isn't it? Uh, I actually forget how I started it. Oh, that's it. There you go. You want to aim that candy downwards, by the way. I messed up. I didn't aim it downwards, but that, that's the start. Uh, to accompany that will be a, a little bit of a candy showcase, I guess. Let's see if I can hit it. Here, here is one of my all-time favorites. Uh, you should send that last one down, by the way, and then uh, continue uh, attacking with it. Uh, but that's a good little candy. Uh, you know, you, you can really catch a lot of people. If you ever need your ult fast, here's another good start for you. Uh, basically, just jump up in the air and hold A. Uh, that way you fall slower. He'll be punted. That, that might be my issue. Uh, 
I'm having a lot of trouble hitting that one. I, I don't use it very much. I've just seen people do it, and I know it can work. That's, that's one for you. You can just hit it down like that. A lot of people won't challenge that. There you go. That can only be done at super low speeds. Uh, but, you know, it really depends on the person you're fighting, right? You know, you might be fighting someone where that's a good idea, whereas ordinarily it just loses you ball control super quickly. Uh, and I, I, think, I think I'll leave off one last start. This is a start I see some good candy men's doing. Uh, so you want to have the ball. And I don't know if I can actually do it in a training. Just because the way it starts off. Let me try. It, yeah. Uh, okay, so I can't do it uh, due to uh, training. But basically... Oh, there we go. And that, that's the start. You just throw the candy right away and you try to get some damage. Uh, for those that don't know how to uh, do candy's down angle uh, into uh, the jawbreaker, candy ball, candy man, ult, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I know there is a speed where it caps out. I'm just not sure what that speed is. It's, it's all about just how fast you can press the button, by the way. You can do it at any point uh, below a certain speed. Whenever the candy reaches its max speed, I don't think you can unless you do a jump input. And it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty difficult for what it is. And you also have to be up in the air. Uh, but you can definitely hit it. Yeah, like I said, yeah, once, once you reach the max speed, you're pretty much done for on that one. Uh, and that's all I really have. Uh, that's, you know, that's always a nice start. Oh, here, no, I actually, actually no, one last candy I can show everybody. Keep whiffing it. That, that, that's a super little quick one right there. Uh, you can also just infinite that. Uh, you cannot combo your down angle, by the way, for anyone wondering. Um, so yeah, no, that's pretty much it for this video. I will conclude it with a ranked match, uh, real quick, where I try to demonstrate some of the candies I showed you. Uh, like I said, though, you really gotta read the situation. A lot of the times, you can be in here, uh, you know, going for something, and, uh, oh, whoops. You can be in here, ooh, double whoops. Uh, you can be going for something, uh, like really really fancy right you know you have it all planned out in your head you're gonna do this super crazy combo they might just eat it you know they, they you know ball might be at 150 speed and they might just straight up eat the ball and just take it right on the chin immediately and you're just dead um, i didn't really show it because it's you know it's like i said it's one of those read the situation things but there is a mix-up you can do uh, when you're smashing the ball as Candyman, if you do not hold any direction at all and candy it, it will do your normal smash angle and just go straight through the floor. Uh, and then resume your normal smash angle like all the candy ends do. And when you do that, that can catch a lot of people because if they're not, if they are spacing for one back, right, you can, when you're spacing Candyman, you can do two things. You can either space, and when he's smashing this, you can either space right under him and uh, 
you know, just bunt it down, hope he runs into it, or you can, uh, you know, bunt it back and continue. Sometimes Candyman can swing. If you have a really fast player, they'll actually swing that. Uh, but if you're spacing... See, there we go. Now, uh, you know, I, I don't claim to come here and beat up on bad players or anything like that, by the way. That, you know... Ooh, he's got a little bit of lag. You know, it's like I was saying, right? Sometimes they just need it. That could have been a, a you know, 100 hit Candyman. It doesn't matter. But it does not matter what it could have been. Uh, Uh, that's one thing I remember about Candyman. He has different air uh, down angles and... Oh, jeez. This guy actually has some pretty alright ball control. Aw, oh, dang. That was a bit of lag there. I didn't quite miss that. Oh. You know, like I said, they just eat it, right? It's it's super easy just to be going for a nice candy and they just eat it. And that's really what makes his ult so powerful. Unfortunately, uh, as you can see there, usually whenever I complain about lag to someone, they don't ever see it. Uh, but you, you can see right there, that ball took three different angles. Oh, that was... That was an intense play. <laughs> he just had full confidence in his own abilities right there. And yet again, he just, you know, you eat the candy man sometimes. That could be due to his lag. He clearly has skill that it's a bit better than a 8,000, whatever his number was. Uh, I'll do one more just because I couldn't really hit nice candy. If it's against the same guy, then I'll just end the video because he's not going to let me do him. Not through... Not through stopping them, unfortunately, but through stopping them with his body. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I keep forgetting to do it, but as I always say, feel free to add me in, uh, you know, fake slacks. Find me through the leaderboards if that doesn't show up on the Steam community. Teach you anything you want to know. Be your friend. Doesn't matter to me. You want? Yeah, I play Rocket League, Dota 2, this, and Ring of Elysium, and I'll play other games occasionally. I, you know, kind of quit CS:GO. Uh, but aside from that, you know, I'll, I'll play with you if you want, or I'll just teach you how to Lethal League if you want some one-on-one -on -one training, all for free, of course. Uh, Cause I'll get better because of it. You know, that's what matters. Maybe I'll discover some new Candyman tech, or I'll discover something new in general. Or I'll just get more hours where I'm not in ranked. Because if you're in ranked and you fight a Daiatsu, and he sits there and he spams bring it, at, you know, as he just whiffs a stock just to keep saying bring it over and over again. And, and then he beats you anyway, even though he's two stocks down and he, he just keeps spamming bring it and he doesn't quit. You know, that, that really takes a toll mentally on people. So, you know, in any way to get better without having a chance of that happening. You know, I'll take it. it. Doesn't matter to me. Online's just a little bit dead at the moment because it's, uh, you know, Thanksgiving Eve. I guess you could call it. It's uh, Wednesday at about, let's see here, uh, 8 a.m. EST. So, you know, not gonna have the most players on any game. I was playing Dota earlier and it took me 15 minutes to find a match. Everything's kind of dead right now. Everyone's traveling to go with their families or to, you know, go be with their family or, they, you know, they just don't feel like it. They're out doing holiday shopping or stuff. If they're a little bit older, you know, 23 or 4 or something like that. Oh, uh, yeah. So I think I'll just go and end the video before it turns into 40 minutes of me rambling about uh, different characters, mechanics, and whatnot. Uh, take it easy. Add me, like I said. Hope to see you in the future. This is uh, whatever the name of my channel is, or fake slacks, whatever you want to call me by. Signing off.